Okay, so I'm ready to uh, put my floor in. I put my grommet for the shifter, so I drilled a hole in the firewall and there's a grommet up there for the shifter. So, we're all good there. And I've uh, got cardboard from uh, local businesses, uh, you know, the diner in town, grocery store. So, uh, well, uh, I got them cut for now. And, um, like these pieces are easy to measure, they're square. I got to make the template for that, but I'm going to make these pieces and, and, and just get all these pieces set in here. And, um, so it's just cardboard. There's nothing special about it. Just cut it to fit. It's easier to do this than it is to measure it because nothing's really square in here. The cab was never square. What I started with, the plane in the floor is never square with the door frame. You know, so it's easier just to lay the cardboard in and uh, get it. And I have so much play, you know, with that inch and a half all the way around that the outside flat stock and angle so it doesn't have to be perfect and it's actually gonna make it easier to grind it flush after I get it done so I get these cut out and get them in and then get the other pieces cut out and then start stitching them in there well, I guess I'm gonna start with these two outer edge pieces I laid them out and cut them both they're exactly the same I cut the first one and it fit the other one exactly the same there's actually a quarter inch downfall in that floor forward though inside that cab um yeah doesn't really matter so it's four and a half on one side and four and a quarter on the other across that so the floor actually was like in it's actually level but it, you know it's in there like it. anyway so now i'm gonna buff the edges off i cut them with the razor wheel buff those edges off they both fit in there and uh and then go from there all right so i've taken a square and i put it in here and i found where i think i'd like my bead to be i, I, it, I can't have it laying against anything so i think the bead will be okay there so and i, I need it to go in now the bead so i got it away from the edges and I've ran my line just to follow. And uh, it should let me lay this panel back. But So you can do a bunch of fancy designs with the bead roller, but really the bead roller is just to stiffen this so there's no bubbles after you weld it, so it's going to shrink and all that stuff. But if you actually place these in in, in a way that the panel can't, bow it's all you're trying to really do with the bead roller i've put these floors in without having a bead roller before so it's not absolutely something that you have to do and uh i mean sometimes you get a pop and you can do shrinking with a torch or or actually cut it with a with a with a cutter and you know like this this wheel and, and re-weld it and get that bubble to come out but we're going to try not to have any of that popping of the floor by strategically putting in bead rolls. So we're going to mark out both of them. But with this one, because the door panel, it needs to face in. Some of these panels we're going to strategically have the bump up or have the bump down. Like on the floor, we'll have the bump up so maybe there's something to catch your feet. So it won't only just to be strategically to... You know that hey you put your feet out you don't slide there's something there to catch when you're in there so it's not uncomfortable having to catch your feet when I'm slipping so anyway we're gonna give this a go so I got two different bead rollers this is a, a manual bead roller so it has a crank JD squared sells these you know Chinese knock it off too but uh this is a JD squared one with a custom stand um, so you just put it in there and raise the arm up and crank crank it down and uh, we're going to slowly hand crank it across the line and then we're going to fit it hope that we didn't think about it backwards but I got a I got a power one too it has a motor 
Um, it, it's a little easier to use with two people. This one you can take your sweet time. And, but I got it set up with a d different size bead too. And it has all the wheels where you can do, you know, edges and crimping and all kinds of stuff. But, you know, we're just going to make it simple. We're going to put it in there on the line. We're going to crank it down with the handle and move it across. All right. Wish me luck. All right. I got a bead in the two side panels. It's a lot easier to do if you have a safe person. I ain't got one. So we're going to, uh, Call that done, and then we're gonna cut that next big piece. Like I said, we'll have to strategically put, I'm gonna put ribs in it like this, to so stop your feet. Um, and stiffen it up a little bit. So, uh, the seat bolts down, so I don't wanna come in here and do all that, and who cares if it buckles under the seat, right? All right, so I've taken I've taken the next template and I've laid it out here on the sheet. We're gonna mark around it and then uh, cut it out and pray that it fits right. And then uh, do some strategic V rolls. It, you know, it always changes, but my thought is right about where your foot goes there, and then maybe six inches back, and then run two straights this way that way when you step in you know you're usually stepping in there and then your feet can catch on those we're just trying to stiffen it up you know that way when we uh, we're going to come in here and drill holes for rosetta welds along the beams and when the cab gets flipped over and this thing all gets exploded apart like every part of this the, everything's going to come apart and get reworked again frame the bed the cab everything uh and it'll get stiff the cab will get flipped up and you know, it'll get all welded from the bottom but um we're gonna come in here and, and rosetta weld it from the top and grind it down and 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 do everything we can so we don't have like this large buckle in it it can be a little warped or not exactly perfect we just don't want it making like a popping noise like that little toy when you was a kid all right, so it's all cut now. We're gonna do a little bit of fine tuning in here. Um, right there's my seatbelt bolt. So I'm gonna open it up for this weld over here a little bit. And then the uh, way the cab corn contours, I'm gonna open that up a little bit. Get this whole panel to just shift just a hair. We're looking really good to come in here and stitch along the edges. Um, I need to mark where the ribs are and and where the seat comes to and then I can uh, put some you know I'm, I'm thinking uh, one or two straights this way and one or two straights this way and then you know, just so you, you know if you want to hold your foot against something like you don't want to have it straight you don't have to like fight to hold it so I'm gonna have like two straights, even though it'll probably be under carpet, it, it'll help a little bit. Plus it'll keep any popping. And I wanna drill for Rosetta welds to try to minimize that too. So uh, we'll trim this and get it to fit just a little bit better. All right, I got it all trimmed and now I got laid out here for, you know, uh, a couple spots to hopefully catch your feet. And when you come in, I got, four of these lines here that are going to go forward so you'll step across you know like a, a, a tough spot and then you'll have a couple places to catch your feet hopefully you know you always plan this stuff out sometimes it sucks we'll see see how it goes hopefully it's not too bad and and uh and then i got these marked out so i'm gonna come in here and drill holes along where these are and I'm going to put uh, ro um, Rosetta welds down the center to hold it too. So uh, I need to mark this one. It looks like I haven't marked it. But I'll get them marked out and then uh, we'll have you know two or three holes per bar. Hopefully I don't drill them wrong but I mean I got a welder so we'll see what happens. 
All right, so I got all the Rosetta holes I'm gonna drill marked out on these beams. And I got all the beads marked out and labeled. So we're gonna drill the holes and and uh, lay the beads out and hope it goes well. Set it in here and then go fab the next piece. Well, I uh, I want these beads up. You know, catch your feet in that. So I really need to lay these out on the other side, or they'll be up. They'll be wrong. So I can drill the holes, but I'll, I'll have to measure and transfer all this stuff onto the other side before I can bead roll it. Well, I got all the holes for the Rosetta welds drilled, and I got all the edges of ground down both sides. So, and I fit the plate so the holes are in the right spot, but. You know, the factory, they big robot come in there and spot weld all this stuff. Or they just, you know, a lot of stuff in this Dakota was just bonded together. They actually just bonded, glued everything together, so. All right, so uh, we're going to move those lines over to the other side. They may not be exactly laid out the same, but I'll lay some lines out and uh, I'll get the bead rolled get these beads rolled in hopefully I put them in the right spot uh, the structures kind of contradicted where I needed to put them too so it is what it is okay I got the beads laid out on the right side this time so uh, I'll be able to go in here and make these uh, reason why they're not all straight is my throat's not big enough the, the mechanical uh, the driven one I got in there I probably could go to this but I think this is going to work out better. I'm going to do it this way. So we'll see. Um, hopefully I don't have to remake the piece over if I don't like it. Especially if I weld it all in. Anyway, we're going to bead it in there. And uh, it should be good and strong. And uh, if you step in there, it won't buckle on you. Or, or buckle as you're going down the road. All the Rosetta welds and the seat's going to be holding this part down. This will be all stiff. So... Uh, I probably won't do the full bead with this because it distorts it when you do it. So it, it'll probably be a partial bead. Um, we don't have a bunch of warping caused by it. But we're going to stiffen it up with the bead roller. So, All right, I got all the beads rolled in here manually. And uh, ready to put it in the truck. Should be nice and stiff by the time I weld it all down. Shouldn't have any buckles with these stiffening beads in here. It's a floorboard, so it don't have to be stupid pretty. All right. All right, so I got this side done. Got the ribs. I'm going to go over to the other side because this stuff I can piece together out of the leftover sheet stuff. So I'm going to see if I can get that in this sheet that I got this one out of. Okay, I got really lucky. This other side is going to fit in that same sheet, so uh, I might not even need that second sheet that I got over there um, for other things than the body work. So we're doing pretty good on material right now. So I'm going to lay this one out and start cutting it. All right, I got this side fitted in here. And uh, I'm going to lay out for the hole, for the rosetta holes and the bead roll stuff just like I did the other side over there and we'll lay it out and get this get this one finished and then we'll work on the tunnel pieces okay I got all the holes drilled and uh, the beads laid out <clears throat> so I'm gonna bead roll it all the Rosetta holes are drilled and then uh, I'll get it back in the truck all right, I got this panel rolled, and I'll go put it in there. All right, so the driver's side floor is done. Um, it's all ready to be welded in. I'm going to work on making them tunnel pieces now, get all these pieces made, and then I'll work on stitching them in all at one time until I run out of gas. So I got these two... Uh, center tunnel plates made the little sh small ones there this one 
to kind of save you the boringness of doing them, they're just regular old plates with a bead ran down the middle. So, all right, I'm on to the next one. All right. All right, so I got the centerpiece made, and I put a couple bead rolls in there. Um, you probably never see them, but <coughs> we don't want any in this area. That's where the shifter and all that goes. So now I just got these front two pieces to make. I'm going to make them out in cardboard. Once I get, you know, all these pieces made, then we can start uh, strategically welding it all in so you can see a little better on this side the the p the two pieces that need made you know the center piece and all all this stuff is all done so i gotta make those two covers and then uh we'll be ready to actually put the floor in all right so i got the cardboard here cut and so i'll transfer that on the steel now and and make those side panels. All right, I, I followed this bead into there, and then I put another bead in, to kind of help contour. I got a, a small break in the bottom, <coughs> so uh, that panel's done for this side. Should be able to get welded on. Should look pretty good. So uh, I gotta go. The other side is different enough that I gotta make my own. I gotta remake the cardboard template. It, the firewall was different, so I gotta repeat this process for the other side piece. And after that piece on the far side's done, I can start welding this all in. Okay, I got the cardboard for this side, you know, and they're made up. So we'll get that transferred over and. Uh, and make us that paint. Alright, so that piece is made. Um, I need to transfer all the holes for the shifter and that into that piece. We're going to start welding with that piece. I get all the holes, all that done. Uh, we'll, uh, we can actually start welding these pieces in. Alright, so got all the holes transferred here. And I put bolts in them so I know they can go in and out. I got my rubber grommet. And uh, I, I put these beads so I know where the plate is, that quarter inch plate. After that gets welded on, if I ever go to change the shifter out, I'll know where I can actually drill and tack the uh, tap to that. So uh, now I need to come in here and mark one inch second sections on every one of those panels um, so they can be stitched in there real pretty and nice and then once I get all the panels marked for raw, where all the tacks are going to be so it's pre-planned out then I can start um, stitching them in here's how I'm going to lay out I put a couple marks on this square so every three inches are going to be a one inch weld so I'm just going to move the square over mark it with a different colored marker move the square over just keep doing that till I have all my stitches laid out around every panel and I'll be ready to weld them in so just got to follow that all the way around alright I got the center part all tacked all the way up and we'll start working on these tunnel pieces. So the hardest ones that can form in is the ones that I'm wanting to do first. So the tunnel, these outside ones, like the floorboard, I can stand on them, and with all the Rosetta welds, I can, I can just push it around. But these right here with the hard card cores, I, I want to use the clamps. So we're going to put these in first, the whole tunnel. And we're going to go out here and do these outside plates while I can still clamp them. Then we're going to lay, as long as I don't run out of gas, we're going to have all everything tacked in here. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, that tunnel piece is tacked on, so we'll move over to the other side. Tack all right, so I got the tunnel 
and these outside edge pieces all welded on there or tacked on I need to weld them and grind them all the way because some of these welds are going to interfere with the with the plates maybe so if I do this now it'll be a lot easier just to finish these later so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and finish weld all this stuff you know just the stitching and then hit it with a grinder and then I'll lay the other plates in all right I got the tunnel all welded and ground and I'm ready to put these plates out here are tacked on and I got a couple hundred pounds of gas so I'm hoping that I can tack these two plates in if I can get them tacked in I pretty well got this done so the column uh, I had to uh, grind all these welds that way I don't have any problem fits in here um, getting getting caught on any of the old welds that I made so all that's done on both sides this thing's completely finished I had to finish this before I could put this in so um, we're gonna we're gonna weld these plates in here tack, well at least tack them I'm hoping I can tack them for a run of gas and if there's any gas left I'll, I'll weld but uh, we ran out of welding wire last night, and to, today it looks like I, at some point I'm going to run out of gas. So hopefully I can get them tacked in, and then uh, you know the forge basically done. Uh, I have to come weld it when I get gas. I don't know if they're open tomorrow or not. You know, uh, the second in New Year's they they might be. I got tomorrow off work, so I might might be able to get gas and finish this up tomorrow. All right, this side's all tacked for the stitching. So, uh, and the, you know, the Rosetta welds are all tacked there. Um, there's no no buckle in it, so that side turned out okay. Um, hopefully, the gas holds out to get the other one stitched. All right, so. Uh, I just barely had enough gas to tack that other side in. Guess I should walk over there and show it to you. But, uh... Yep. Uh, she's all tacked. I'll have to get a bottle of gas and weld it. But, uh, we're looking pretty good so far. Ford's about done. And then I can move on to other stuff. All right, so here's this side, driver's side tacked in. I got that gap in there for my door seal. And uh, got no pops over here either. So we're looking pretty good. Just got a ran out of gas, so gonna have to uh, Get some gas. If, if you like this, uh, check back, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Anyway, pretty happy with how far I got. I wish I had more gas. I could have finished this. Hopefully I can get it finished this weekend.